Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So, I have a, every time, Cortana, what is up with this? I didn't say Cortana. Anyway, I have a, a question here about imposter syndrome. I don't think I've dealt with this yet. If I have, I'm gonna rehash it here. So anyway, uh, this question is from Joe, and Joe says, Hi John, I've been programming professionally for about 12 years now. For most of that time, I felt pretty confident in my skills and never had trouble landing jobs. A few months back, I switched jobs again and I found that everyone is a lot smarter than me. That and the complexity of the project have me seriously doubting my abilities. I have lost my confidence and I feel like a fraud. It, it's only a matter of time before they find out that I don't know what I'm doing and fire me. Apparently this is a thing and they call it imposter syndrome. Have you ever dealt with this at any point in your career? Do you have any advice for how to deal with it? Except that there are others better than me and get my confidence back. Thanks, always appreciate your videos and blog posts and uh, best regards, Joe. So Joe, here's the, so imposter syndrome, Gosh, I mean, we're all going to suffer from this at some point. Yeah, I've definitely suffered for this, from this. Uh, I, I've suffered from it fairly recently. I mean, we're, I'm always suffering through it, right? <laughs> you, you never, it, it's a good thing to some degree, right? Because you got to keep your ego in check. We, we, a lot of beginners, right? This is where a lot of young people mess up their careers is they don't suffer from in, imposter syndrome. They don't have their ego in check. In fact, their ego is way ahead of them. So they think they're way better than they are. They think they know so much, right? This is the teenager type of mentality that we're like, and, and it gets them in trouble because they stop learning. A lot of people get it. So, so having a little bit of imposter syndrome is kind of healthy because it means that your ego is at least somewhat in check, right? You've at least been able to check your ego to the point to realize that, that even if you can't admit it, right? That you realize that you ain't just the shit, right? That it's not all just about you and, and, and that you're, you're not just God's gift to the programming world. So, this is, so that's a good thing, right? But here's the thing. So don't forget, like look back and see how far you've come, right? And, and it, it helps a lot of times to realize that other people w w are trying to get to where you are now. Your level of knowledge and skill, like if you go and you talk to a lay person about programming, you blow their freaking mind. I mean, like, you or, or some, pick something that you're interested in, in in programming and you could just go, you know what I mean? Sometimes, because I, I know a lot about about diet and nutrition and, and, and physical fitness, I will talk to someone who I, 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 I don't, sometimes I don't think I know so much, right? About that, about that topic, but I'll talk to someone who, who knows something about it and I'll start going off about all these different things and how your insulin works and metabolism and supplements and all this stuff. And I'm like, wow, uh, where did that come? Like, <laughs> I guess I know a little bit more than I thought I did, right? I always feel like, well, I'm, I'm not really in this industry and I don't keep up so much on it, but, but I know a lot more than the lay person, right? And that's the same thing, right? Is that it, you might feel like an imposter, but, but you're not an imposter. You actually know a lot. A lot of times when you're playing on, on a field where the rest of your teammates are also at a high level, it can make you feel stupider. But a lot of times you have to realize some of those teammates, they're thinking that you, like they're feeling the same way, right? They're, they're thinking that you're kind of the genius and gosh, they don't know this. So, so here's the thing, like I can't, I can't tell you that, that, you, that you're, you're not an imposter, you know it, right? Because I don't know you, <laughs> but, but I'm assuming if you got as far as you did that, that you got something, right? You, you, you know something, you learn something. You've been doing this for 12 years, trust me, you're not an imposter, right? You, you, you might not know it all, but, but that's fine, that's good. That means that you've got, you've got some room to learn. But here's what I've learned from that, and, and maybe I'll tell a little bit about, about what, what I've done. So, so I've, I've learned that basically what you gotta do is you just gotta put your head down and keep, stop worrying about everyone else, right? Sometimes we worry too much about other people. What are they doing? What do they think? What level are they at? And what we gotta do instead is we gotta worry about ourselves. What are we doing? What, what can we do? How can we improve? You know, honestly evaluate ourselves and set our own goals. Compare yourself 
to the previous version of yourself, to, to who you were yesterday, to who you were five years ago, to who you were you know, a year ago, instead of comparing yourself to others. I know it's hard to do, but that's really what you gotta do. And basically, like, don't worry so much about whether you're an imposter or not. It doesn't matter, right? Because it is what it is. If you don't know as much as you should know, then learn it, then learn, right? And, and if, you, if you know more than you think you know, that doesn't matter anyway. It only matters what you can actually do and what you can use that knowledge for. So I wouldn't worry too much about this. You know, don't, don't get hung up on this is what I'm saying. It's just do what you gotta do and realize that it, it doesn't have to make sense to you, that you don't have a good grasp of how the world perceives you and how everything works, right? You, you just, you, you, you're biased. You ha- you're looking through filtered lenses, right? So, so just do your thing, man. Just, you know, don't, don't worry about everyone else and just, just keep going. I, I felt like, I mean, I'll, I'll describe it a little bit. I felt like imposter at, at different times in my life, especially starting a new job, right? There's been certain jobs where I was like, oh, I don't don't know this stuff like I'm not going to be able to do this and then like within a few weeks I was the I was producing more code and I understood the project better than people that have been there for two years on the team just because I because I picked it up right like you just have some confidence that you're going to pick it up I mean by the time I'm answering this probably you've already picked it up and you've realized that that you can but but every single time that I took a a major job in, in my career I was always like imposter syndrome like I always felt like I didn't deserve this job I was fooling people I I wasn't ready or qualified for this and then somehow I made it and I and, and you got to take those chances you got to do those things that make you uncomfortable so you should feel like an imposter right if you don't feel like an imposter you're doing things that are too easy always like dive in and do the thing that's way too difficult <laughs> for you and then you swim somehow you learn how to swim and you make it and it increases your level that much more and, and you keep on doing that and that's how you keep on going up I've done it so many times even as an entrepreneur, right? I mean, there's been times when I started Simple Programmer, gosh, when I first started doing YouTube videos, did I feel like an imposter? Oh my gosh, like <laughs> like my own family was like making fun of me and stuff, right? And my friends are like, what are you doing making YouTube videos? Well, now I got 11,000 subscribers. What are you doing, right? So it's like, it, it, but, <laughs> but you're gonna feel like that at first, right? It's just how it is, right? And you just gotta keep on going. You just gotta say, look, I, I believe in myself. I might be an imposter, it doesn't matter, because hey, I'm just gonna do what I'm doing, and I don't care what other people are doing, and I'm eventually gonna get there, I'm not gonna get there. It doesn't matter what level people evaluate me at, or what level I evaluate myself at, it only matters that I progress. So, so just make progress, man. Don't, don't worry about it, don't sweat it, and, and just know that everyone feels like an imposter at some time, it's a good thing, it keeps your ego in check, but you can't let it, as long as it doesn't paralyze you. You gotta go forward. And when you're feeling that, when you get in over your head, that's a good thing because man, you grow so much when you get in over your head. I always try to get in over my head as much as I can. It makes me scared, it makes me feel inadequate, it makes me feel like an imposter. But when I finally swim, I'm so much, I'm like, I, it's the fastest level of advancement that you could possibly get. So get in over your head. The worst that can happen is that you drown. But (laughs) on the way to drowning, you will learn something and you'll try again and you'll jump in again and eventually you will swim, my friend. All right, that's it. Uh, If you like these videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and give them likes. The thumbs up are always good and share them with a friend. Take care.